Hi, my name is Shane Paul Neal from State Coach Multisport, and today I'll be talking about how to train for a 100 meter dash. The 100 meter dash is considered the heavyweight championship of track and field, with the Olympic champions and world champions considered the fastest human beings on the planet. In order to train for a 100 meter dash, there are several keys that you want to keep in mind. A, of course, is your start, whether using blocks or not. A good start is very, very key to your proficiency in the 100. You want to make sure that you're reacting to the gun as quickly as possible and as explosive as you can be out the blocks. There are several drills and several techniques that you can use to train to do this, but they all require the supervision of your coach. After your start, you also want to keep in mind your drive phase. The drive phase is how you continue to build speed after this, the block start. Sprinters in their drive phase generally have a very forward lean and are almost always looking down and are slowly building up to an upright position for the rest of their race. One of the big keys in the 100 meter dash that a lot of folks don't realize is something called top end speed. Even a race as short as 100, there is some deceleration from the start of the race to you cross the finish line. The sprinter who can minimize that the most will generally have a great chance of winning the race. A lot of that comes down to proper form and technique, strength training, and again, repetition. The average 100 meter sprinter will train at 60, 80, even up to 110 meters to make sure that they maintain that speed straight through. And that's how you train for a 100 meter dash.